is a very prestigious moment for us here at Dick's Place. Prestigious uh, because we've been chosen here uh, on Sunday night to host the Inspiration Awards. Gordon Wall, who is the uh, founder of the Inspiration Awards, uh, is with us. And I just know, of course, that uh, since it's on our show and, uh, and we're up for the Inspiration Awards, I just know that somehow we're going to have the award. Don't you think, uh, Gordon? Maybe. <laughs> well, we'll just have to wait and see about that. Uh, all right, tell me, how did, you, how did this happen? How did this come about, the, the, well, in the awards? In 1990, we started the first Inspiration Awards, and it began because all my adult life I've been working with uh, volunteer groups and everything. I noticed one of the things that they gained from the, not only the experience and the joy of doing it, but almost everybody's happy to accept an honor, either a certificate or a trophy, an award of some type. And uh, what really started it was in, in 1989, I had uh, my wife and I accepted uh, an award from the outgoing Miss, Junior Miss Baldwin Park. And she chose us out of all the people that she had worked with for that year. And uh, after that, I thought, well, why not make this an award going nationwide? And uh, so we have done this. She was your first uh, youth recipient of the, of the award. Yes, right. She yeah. was, yes. And, uh, and she was Miss Inspiration, I think, of 1990. That was, right. that was really, that was a big production. Yes, it was. Unfortunately, we had a few technical difficulties, so it was never telecast. But we did have uh, approximately 30 recipients of awards. Who yeah, who were some of the people? I, I remember some of them, but why don't you tell us uh, who they were? Okay, Roy Rogers and Dale Evans, President Carter, Wayne Gretzky, uh, Bill Russell, Susan Butcher, the one who was a four-time winner that I did around right. sled race. I remember. Highway 101, uh, TNN, Crook and Chase, and the landscape artist from Yakaifa, Bill Paluth. Who, uh, did you have an award for the most inspirational TV show at that time? No, we didn't. This is the first didn't time we've had it. You're, so you're one of the first nominees. <laughs> okay. What's, what's, the first, what's the first category tonight? <laughs> Our first category tonight is going to be for the television show, local television I'll show. I'll be gone. Okay. Well, I'm ready. You're ready, huh? Well, you know, uh, <laughs> I am not sure now whether I can present it to you tonight or not. You might have to wait a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> who who gets it? This is the Golden Heart Award. We got it. Yes, we have it right here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, Ray Crawford has been singing ever since he can remember. He has been acting since at an early age. He performed on stage and radio for convalescent hospitals, hospitals, and the like. Why don't you come on in here, Ray? In, okay. eight, in eighteen. I mean, in 1989. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I noticed you're great here when you didn't have your hat on. In uh, 1989, he was produced and uh, performed on three local television shows, Country Review, Weekend Review, and the latest Country Corral. He and his co-host Julie Wingfield host the latter show. Other desert. Uh, Performers appear on it, as well as one portion is devoted to gospel music. The talent on the show is outstanding, and Ray and Julie do are outstanding hosts and talents in their own right. Our Golden Heart Award for Most Inspirational Regional Television Program goes to Country Corral. Here to receive the award is Ray Crawford. Congratulations, Ray. Thank you very much, Gordon. Okay, Ray, I'll get, I'll get out of town. I accept this on behalf of my partner, Steve Graham, and all of those who helped put the show together. Very happy to present it to you, and I hope you get another program this year. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I'll Gordon. get out of town. Good luck, Dick. Thank you. And the second place winner, congratulations, Dick. <laughs> okay, let's see. We've got another one here, yeah. Golden Heart Award. Uh, what's, what's this one all about, Gordon? Our next uh, award is for Inspiration Award for Trauma Victim. We are honoring a first young man who has made an amazing recovery from an uh, 18, I'm sorry, I keep getting it out a century ahead of time, 1983 <laughs> accident. This was his third accident. Tony Skinner comes to us from the Neurological Rehabilitation Center of Apple Valley. 
The immediate goals for Tony were to gain his independence and daily living skills and to decrease his physical stamina. Long-term goals were to have, nine, to have him participate in the vocational program. He quickly reached his immediate goals and before long he was learning employable work skills. His memory has improved, his cognitive deficits have been overcome, and his physical limitation has been changed with remarkable comp compensatory uh, strategies initiated by him himself. We need to get our viewers um, um, a dictionary for all those words, <laughs> Gordon. Yeah, I know, there are some big words, but these are the words <laughs> that were given to me in the biography of him by the NRC. He works the collating, housekeeping, Preparation of dining room, gardening, and cashiering. Tony's well and mannered personality is his biggest asset. He may has the most outstanding employment record of all the current vocational clients at NRC. He is an inspirational motivator to others in the vocational program in the NRC. The winner of the Golden Heart Award for Trauma Victim is Tony Skinner. Here to present the award is Todd Eaches, of NRC. Hey, Todd. Good morning. Evening. Excuse me. I forgot what time of day it was. Tony, why don't you step over here for a minute? Uh, I'm very pleased and proud to be able to do this for you, Tony. Why don't you stand right here next to me? Thank you. Tony uh, lives independently at our facility. He has his own apartment. He has a wonderful dog named Gabe uh, that we see all over the campus. And Tony's the man that we can always rely on to uh, do jobs for us, keep our store running. Uh, keep our dining room looking nice. Tony, congratulations for it. Thank you excellent kindly. job. You're very Thank welcome. you very much. And I hope you all have a very beautiful day. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Tony. Appreciate congratulations, it. Congratulations, Tony. Yeah. Thank day. you. Okay, that was very heartwarming. Uh, next Golden Heart Award, Gordon. Is the Youth Award. This youth is outstanding. When you hear what she has done, it's only part of her activities, but, but just the most important ones. Tara Taylor of Apple Valley High School is the recipient of the youth category. Tara is a junior at, at Apple Valley High School and is currently a cheerleader. She is a junior class secretary in student government, president of the cheerleaders, secretary of the Sensations, a song and dance group at the high school that performs throughout the country. She teaches workshops for those who desire to become uh, active in that group. Out of 450 10th graders at Apple Valley High School, she was chosen to receive the U. O'Brien Youth Foundation Scholarship Award, and she attended the four-day leadership seminar in June of this year in San Diego. She was honored as a best sixth grader, received President Bush's Academic Award of Excellence for maintaining a 4.0 grade point average through eighth grades, was a winner of the outstanding 10th grader in January, and has won numerous other awards. She is currently a junior at Apple Valley High School, and she is our first ever Miss Apple Valley optimist. Uh, she, she, Tara is a real sweetheart and has the ability and drive to be successful whatever she undertakes. She's an inspiration to all who know her. Here to present the award is Chuck Mills of Chuck Mills Construction and the Apple Valley Optimist Club. This is the second year that Chuck has presented a youth award. Chuck? Thank you, Gordon. <clears throat> With this, Dick, I'd like to uh, present this award to Tara for her outstanding achievements and her leadership. Congratulations, Tara. Thank you very much. I'm so honored to receive this award and for all those kind words that Mr. Wall said about me. Thank you so much. He didn't say them. They were written right up there. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all true. Oh, no, I don't know about that, but thank you so much. This is such an honor. Thank, thank you. you, Tara. Thank I, you. I'll, I'll tell you what, Gordon. Uh, thank you very much. You. And, uh, I'll tell you what, we fired the person who typed that up. Uh, all, those oh, you typos, did. all those typos. Yeah, in there. inspiration. In yeah, well, the yeah. GNN. Yeah, we're, 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 the, the person is fired that typed that up. Count on that. Okay. This is a big one. Yeah, this is a big one. Well, this is an in, the International uh, Inspiration Award for religious publications. The national and international awards are somewhat larger than the local and regional ones, and so one. If you get one next year, it'll be the other size. It won't be this size. Leave me stick. alone. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, the inspir take a shot at Inspiration it, Award for Religious Publications for 1993 goes to the Thomas Troward Society for publishing the New Light series of eight books on the teachings of Thomas Troward, the English judge who was probably the most influential religious writer of this century. Most of the changes brought about in Christian religion in the past 75 years can be attributed to Judge Troward, who defined the law and religion and unlocked the hidden meanings of the Bible. Judge Troward combined religion and science and found there was no real difference between them. Only the misinterpretations by the religionists and the scientists. He explained that the truth is always the truth, and once understood, and, and understood that there can be no contradictions once you understand it. He brought God to a personal level, a level that was instantly available to all, and the way we think is responsible for what we are and what we receive. He stressed the teachings of Jesus, not what the religionists said about him and the church leaders of later times. His writings are basic Christianity at its best. Here to receive the award is Arthur Bergara, a member of the Troward Society and a former assistant uh, minister in New York City. He is currently publications editor of Divorce and Company, a metaphysical book company which publishes New Thought books. He is also engaged in writing the multi-volume history of New Thought. Congratulations, Mr. Vergara. Okay. And do you want to say a few words? Yes, I do. Uh, I certainly want to thank you on behalf of Heather Andrews Dobbs and Valerie Thompson of the Thomas Troward Society. Uh, they're doing a unique work in memory of and in, I think, extension of Mr. Troward's teachings. And as you know, Thomas Troward is a great influence on many of our metaphysical groups here in the United States, principally religious science. So on behalf of the Thomas Troward Society, and I think on behalf of all their friends here in the United States, we want to thank you for your awarding them this uh, great distinction. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Take care. All right. This was nice. You going to do this next year? Oh, yes. Well, we hope to have a, a few more awards in November sometime. Okay. What we need is the uh, sponsors for the awards. Oh, all right, let's. Uh, all right, we've, there, there you go. Put, uh, if you'd be interested in sponsoring, or you have questions or information about the Inspiration Awards, give Gordon a call at this number, or write him. I guess well, I my say. phone number is nine five one two six nine nine. The Inspiration Awards for regional and local awards are fifty dollars a piece. For the international or national, they're hundred dollars, and they can be sponsored in full or in part. Terrific. And we, you, we think that so far we have never had any questions on who has received them. They've all been very, very worthy recipients. Well, you had some questions this time. Well, oh, we, uh, we do have a few people and I, I think, think you, they I should think have you, had I it. I think you screwed up this time, Gordon. But I, I think... But I from, forgive you. I think, Ray, I think Ray Crawford is a nicer guy than you are. <laughs> okay. We'll be, back. <laughs> we'll be back with some entertainment okay. after this word. Okay. Gordon.